Today's homework is on compound interest. What you will need for this homework is a pen or a pencil, paper and a calculator is a must. So compound interest. Compound interest is interest that is affected by the amount of money you have at the end of each year. So it has a compound effect, it builds up at the end of each year. Now there is a formula that you can learn for this which goes by amount times y the multiplier to the power of number of years so in this case three thousand pounds is invested in a savings account paying compound interest at five percent annually how much is in the account after three years annually just means per year or you might see the word per annum so in this case where you need to do a bit of work is on the multiplier so let's say we start off about with 100% at the end of each year with 5% added on okay this makes 105% now to get to convert this into a multiplier we need to turn it into a decimal which is dividing by 100 which would be 1.05 now that's the multiplier so the amount that we start off with is three thousand pounds times it by the multiplier which in this case is 1.05 and the number of years that this investment is taking place for is three years so the number of years is going to be three which is the power now I'll pop this into my calculator three thousand times 1.05 to the power of 3 which gives me the answer of 3374.592 now because we're talking money we need to round to two decimal places so it will be 3374.59 okay so in this case it won't round up it round down have a go at this second question and pause the video what you should have got is the amount which is 5000 times by 1.025 okay, which is, would be the multiplier to the power of 4 which gives you a final answer of 5519 pounds point zero six four, which around it to two decimal places gives you this Okay. If you're not too sure about the multiplier, how I did that was 100% plus the 2.5%, which is 102.5%, divided by 100, which converts it into a decimal, and that's how you would have got the multiplier of 1.025. If you are in set 4 and 5, have a go at the red box. If you are in set 3 and 2, you need to do both the red box and orange box. Okay, and if you are in set 1, have a go at one question from the red box and both the orange and green box. Upload your answers onto class charts for your teacher to check. Thank you.